you don't know how to write prompts. So in this video, I'm going to be covering my four-step framework for writing perfect ChatGPT prompts every single time. It's the same exact framework I've taught over 2,200 realtors and business owners. Leverage AI and ChatGPT to save them time, energy, and money. I've used this prompt for myself to host webinars, to do client appreciation events, to create email sequences, to create landing page copy. I've used this framework over and over again. Without further ado, there's four things that I'm gonna cover in this video. The first is gonna be what even is a prompt? The second is what is prompt engineering? Third is gonna be my four step framework called the race method. Once you learn this framework, I promise you, you'll never struggle using ChatGPT ever again. And if you stick around all the way to the end, I actually had a bonus tip for you guys. So make sure to watch the video all the way through. Without further ado, let's get right into secret number one. What is a prompt? Now, think of it like this. When you're at a restaurant and you put in an order, the order tells the chef what to make. And depending on what you order, determines what the chef makes. When you're using ChatGPT, a prompt is kind of like the same thing. So think of a prompt kind of like putting an order into chat GPT. Now, secret number two, what is prompt engineering? So a lot of people, when they first start using AI tools like chat GPT, they have no tech experience before, they have no AI experience, and they just get kind of thrown into the middle of the ocean. And now they have chat GPT and like they don't know what to write, they don't know what to say, they don't know how to work it, because chat GPT has too many potential outcomes. It has too many use cases. It's like, what do you use it for? And so with ChatGPT, it definitely overwhelms a lot of people from using it because they don't know where to start or what to type in. So like prompt engineering, I like to think of it as like the art and science of writing prompts. Right? Yes, you can just type into ChatGPT, write me a three-step email campaign, write me a list and description, and it'll come up with something. But if you use the right framework, which is what I'm gonna share in the next step, ChatGPT will produce more personalized responses It'll produce higher quality responses and so much more. So when you learn how to prompt engineer, back to the Spain example, it's like learning how to speak Spanish. The more Spanish you know, the better off you'll be. The better you know how to prompt engineer, the better responses you'll get. And so that leads us into step number three, the race method, right? Secret number three, the race method. A lot of people have different methods for prompt engineering. But this is the one that I've been using for the past year or so that I found the best results with. It stands for role, action, context, and expectation, right? That is the race method, role, action, context, expectation. And so step number one, role. I remember a while ago, I was using ChatGPT and like probably many of you guys watching this video, I was getting a lot of very generic and very robotic responses. And so I started to get a little creative and I was like, yeah, you know, like, what if I told ChatGPT to act as a social media marketer? And then I wrote out my prompt. I hit enter and all of a sudden, boom, ChatGPT started coming up with better responses. It started being a lot more creative with its outputs. Then I started getting a little bit more creative. I started thinking about like, who are my favorite marketers? So um, act as you are, let's say Russell Brunson. And then ChatGPT started to give me responses as if it were Russell Brunson. So in the first part, I told it to act as a role, like a specific role, a social media marketer. But then I got a little bit more creative and I told it to act as my favorite marketer, which is an actual person, Russell Brunson. And ChatGPT was trained already. I had some information on Russell. And so it started producing responses similar to how Russell maybe would have responded. And so that really started to get me going. A lot of these big time marketers, a lot of these big time business owners, they charge a lot of money for coaching. They charge a lot of money for consulting. It's hard to get one on one time with them. And so I, I remember I typed into chat GPT. I was like, you know, imagine, you know, you're Dan Kennedy and I just paid you a hundred thousand dollars for one on one consulting. What critiques, what feedbacks, what suggestion would you give me in order at the time I was working on emails? I was like, what suggestion would you give me to make this email convert higher? And then from there, not only did it start responding as if it were Dan Kennedy, but then it also started, started explaining why it made the changes that it made. So in step number one, I just gave it a role, I act as a social media marketer. And step number two, I gave it a person. So I said, imagine you're Russell Brunson, right? And then the only problem with that is it'll respond like that person, but then you're left guessing as to why it made the changes it made. And then step number three, 
I said, imagine you're Dan Kennedy and I paid you for one-on-one -on -one consulting. I, now I'm getting free coaching and all I had to do was write in a role properly for ChatGPT. Like creativity goes a long way when you're writing prompt. Then that's just step number one, role. Step number two is action, right? Tell ChatGPT what it is that you want it to do. Be specific, be clear. This is not as complicated as the first step. In this part, you just wanna tell ChatGPT what you want it to make. Is it an email? Is it a list in the description? Is it a, a mailer? All right, so step number one is the role. Step number two is the action. Step number three now is context. So I always say, ChatGPT is trained on a trillion data points, but it's not trained on you. And so you have to give ChatGPT a little bit of details as to who you are, what you do, who you're looking to serve, so that it has context on how to respond. For example, if I said, what's the quickest way to make $1,000, you may come up with a whole bunch of different business ideas for me to start. But what if I said, what's the quickest way to make $1,000? I only have one day and it has to be ethical, boom. Now your response is gonna be a lot more specific, a lot more personalized versus what's the quickest way to make $1,000. And the more context you can give it, the more personalized its response. So if ChatGPT sounds robotic to you, you're probably not giving it any context. So that's step number three. And step number four is expectation. Yeah, a lot of people think just because it's AI that it's gonna automatically understand and interpret what they are saying in the way they want it to be interpreted. But if anyone has ever argued in the text messages before, it's very easily to misinterpret someone's message. And that's the same thing with ChatGPT. So one of the things I do at the end of my prompts is I'll say, do you understand question mark? If so, please provide an example. That way me and ChatGPT are on the same exact page and that we're clear. And so that's the four step framework, right? Role, action, context, expectation. So let's say I was gonna work on writing a social media script for a video. I say, hey ChatGPT, imagine you are a social media influencer. I want you to create a video reel on how AI is beneficial to real estate agents. The real estate agents I'm targeting are, you know, listing agents, the veterans in their business and they live in let's say Connecticut I expect the script to be under 120 words make it casual and very conversational do you understand if so please provide an example so that is the four-step framework the race method right so we talked about today what is a prompt what is prompt engineering the race method and here's a bonus tip if you want ChatGPT to become even more personalized there's something called custom instructions where you can tell ChatGPT about who you are what you do and then from there have it saved so each time you start a conversation ChatGPT automatically knows who you are and what you do yo if you like this member and ai is super difficult for you and you're not tech savvy just download my ai starter kit it's 100 free it's going to help you get my top 10 chat gpt prompts as well as my top five ai tools that i currently use in my business to help you save time energy and money that's going to be in the link in the description and if you like this video make sure to leave a like below comment like are you currently using ai in your business let me know i would love to hear how you guys are using ai in your business and that is all for this video in the next one, I'm going to be covering how to make your chat GPT the world's greatest personal assistant. Stay tuned.